Hey y'all, how are you guys doing today? I hope you guys are doing really awesome. I've missed you so, so much. Thank you so much for joining in. I really do appreciate it. This is Gabe and this is Gabe Loves Makeup. And I am a 50 year makeup artist and I've been in the industry for a very, very long time. And I still am in the industry and I help customers just like you, skincare and makeup regulars every single day. And with that said, guys, we have a big, big get ready with me today. I've got a bunch of drugstore. We have a bunch of um, all kinds of fun stuff to play with today. Um, so without further ado, let's get into it. Okay guys, so we are ready to get started. I have brows on. I'm trying out the new NYX Professional. This is the um, micro brow pencil and I have it in the shade taupe. It's supposed to be a um, break resistant, smudge resistant, waterproof and all day wear. Um, so far, it's a really little skinny little pencil. This is kind of like what the shade looks like. It looks really good. Um, I put it on, I'm really impressed with it actually. Um, so far so good, it did a really good job I think. Um, making a really good brow. I made my brow a little thicker today. I'm going to do a little bit more of a thicker brow. Um, so yeah, it looks really nice and this color, I really do like it. So I have to play with this a little bit more and see what we think about it. But so far so good. I'm really enjoying that. Um, and also if you guys like the, um, it's the glow recipe and it's the, the niacinamide drops, the, the drops and one that the, the 10 year olds are crazy about these days. <laughs> <laughs> that's a whole nother story, the 10 year old, that's the four, that's another story. But anyway, this is the Essence Hello Good Stuff Glow Serum Primer. Y'all, it is the same thing. This is $5, $5 compared to the serum. And I think it's close to $36 or $40, I believe. If you use that one, you need to give this one a, shot, a, a try. Um, it's in Ulta. And, um, and literally, it's 93% natural ingredient. It's It's got the watermelon smell to it. It makes your pores look really good. I have it all over my skin. I did it kind of like a little bit over my moisturizer. Um, I'm going to be doing another primer in just a little bit. Um, but, uh, but yeah, this is just, I just like to throw this on because I just love the glow that it gives. But this is really great. And for $5, you can't go wrong with that. Um, next, we're going to try out the new L'Oreal. This is the new Panoramic, Panorama Mascara from L'Oreal. It's supposed to make Make your lashes look four point times bigger, 1.4 times bigger. Um, you know, it's supposed to make your uh, lashes look up to 11 times more volumized. Multi-level bristle brush helps grab each layer from outer corner, allowing application root to tip. It has a stretch flex complex as opposed to 24 hour wear, clump resistant, flake resistant, smudge resistant. I have not tried this yet. I wanted to wait until I came on with you guys to actually try this. It, it, I got this at, um, did I get it at Ulta? I think I got it at Ulta. It was $14.99. Um, I actually ordered it, but now you can actually get it in store. So this is what the what it actually looks like, the one looks like. Um, you see there's a little bit of a clump there on the end. I'm gonna take off a little bit of the excess, a little bit on the excess. But let's go ahead and just dive in with it and see what we think of it. But it looks really cool. So I curled my lashes a little bit. So I just wanted to I just want to see what it does. So we're just going to kind of go in here and throw, because you know I don't have any lashes. And before I do any eyeshadow, I like to usually do a small coat of mascara. And I, I recommend it to anyone that has small eyes. I think it's better just to do a little small coat of mascara and maybe a tight line, um, because sometimes it really helps with your eye makeup. But I'm telling you, it's a pretty, pretty good job so far. I mean, it's definitely making them look a lot bigger. Now, I am getting a little bit because my eyes are smaller. The brush is bigger because you can see it's almost as big as my eye. So, it is definitely a longer brush. It feels a little wet, um, but it's got a little bit of a dryness to it, too, which is kind of unique, which I like. I like that. Wow, that's pretty. I mean, now, of course, I got a little bit back behind there, but you know what, guys? I'm not mad at it. It feels pretty good. I haven't got to try it yet. I wanted to play with you. Guys, I wanted you to see you, you see me actually apply it, you know, firsthand before I actually tried it. So I haven't worn it all day or anything like that. But it's definitely, it, it doesn't feel too wet that it's tacky or sticky. It feels good on the lashes. It feels really nice so far. I'm really digging it. 
Um, sorry, I'm just kind of going into stuff, guys. I just wanted to, I've got so much to talk about. We've got so much makeup to go through. We'll get into some stuff later in just a little bit. So don't feel that I'm trying to get not too personal or catch up with you guys and all that kind of stuff, because I do. I just wanted to dive into some of this so I could get started on my eye look, and then we could talk from there. But wow, this stuff is really building. I mean, it's really building. I mean, look at that. Look at that. That is compared to one lash versus the other that is really super cool and it's just really making them look really long and really thick it's reminding me a little bit of the ysl like the the lash clash and the brush reminds me of the lash clash too so if you're using the lash clash mascara by ysl i think this is a little bit of a dupe if you guys don't know l'oreal owns ysl so you know sometimes with long calm ysl armani some of those mascaras or products uh, you know, L'Oreal will come out with maybe a little bit of a dupe. So this may be a dupe for the last class. I've got to say, it looks a lot like it. And it's definitely giving me that kind of a volume that it does. So I've got to tell you, I'm I'm kind of feeling it. I'm kind of feeling it. I'm really enjoying it. I love the telescopic lift. So I'm wondering how this one's going to last. I think this is going to last all day. I can feel, I can tell that it's going to do a good job last. Mm -hmm. um, so this is what the mascara looks like. It looks really good. It feels really light. I thought it was going to feel really heavy. Um, and really cakey, but I will tell you this, it does give you like a lengthening lash, more of that kind of a lengthen kind of a lash, so if you're one of those that don't like a little bit more of a full volume kind of a, it may clump a little bit kind of a mascara, this may not, this one may not be for you, but it does give a really nice volume and I really do like it, um, it feels really great. Um, so yeah, so so far, I put on a little bit more of my P. Louise primer in the white because I really want to do, I'm hoping with the look that I want to do that I want it to show up a little bit more. So I, I added a little bit more of this. I'm just to make it look a little bit more tint. But yeah, so now we're ready to go on to the brand new Nomad Cosmetic. Um, this is the New Zealand um, Stargazing Palette. Um, I got this in PR. They were lovely. They are just so lovely. They always send me their palettes and I really do appreciate it because this color story is gorgeous. This is what the color story looks on the back of the box. Um, and this is what the palette looks like up close. So this is, isn't it beautiful? It looks so beautiful. The purple, the uh, the whole, the multi, I'd like the, the bronzes, a little bit of the yellow, it's so pretty. Um, this is what the palette looks like. We have, you have a black, you've got purple, you've got, you've got all different types. And you can see, see the reflection of the metallics. They fool you because they've got those, it's that kind of a, a unique kind of a me metallic sheen to them. They've got those, that, um, shift, what is it called? It's a, like a chrome, like the, um, they're, uh, what are they called? I forgot what they're called. I can't remember what they're called. Actually, <laughs> multi chrome. That's what they're called. I can't. I can't think today. But look how beautiful they just really just look. They look super super awesome. Um, they are supposed to be. These are deep and dazzling shades with extra fine pigments for rich color payoff and a heavenly feel. It's infused with manuka oil for smooth and crease wear proof. Nine stellar mattes and six twinkling multi chromes. Um, so yeah, and aren't they gorgeous? It's so pretty. Um, do you like the way that these swatches are? Hope you noticed that. Um, I picked up a little from one or two other YouTubers where they do it on the back of their hand. And I just really, I think that I like that a little bit better than doing it all down my arm. So let me know what you guys think of that. But I like it because it gives you like a little bit more of all of it right there together. And I really do. But look at the shift of those multi chromes. how beautiful they are. I love this one. Love the purple. We're going to probably do more of like the pink color story today. But yeah, it looks super, super beautiful. Can't wait to get it on my eyes. And um, just to give you guys an like FYI too, I do have a code. Um, I think it's called Gabe Loves 10 or Gabe Loves, I believe. I'm not sure, but um, I will leave it right here so you guys can see it. I don't, it's not affiliate link whatsoever. It's just helping you guys save some money if you want to on the palette. So if you want to go over, I think the palette is 59, I believe it's 53 or 59 dollars. But you can definitely go over to Nomad and use that if you want to, if you're, if you're interested in a palette. It's a really beautiful color palette. So I think it's really pretty for like spring if you guys are looking for it or if you, or if you love purples and everything but um but yeah let's get let me take this off the back of my hand and let's just start using it and um let's chit chat some. ready to get started i'm gonna go in with my this is my 14 refer brush i'm gonna go into this uh shade here called uckland no some southern lights the first one we're gonna go into and she got this really beautiful it's like a really pretty soft kind of a pink to it i'm just gonna go in here and start building up the crease um, I think I want to kind of do more of a, like a pink and then like something really light on the lid. 
Um, and I just think that would be so pretty. Um, I'm going to try to be not with a lot of the blues and stuff because originally I wanted to do something with the blue and then I want to do something with the purple. So I don't know. I'm just kind of playing more. I just think I'm going to do a little bit more with like the pink and then maybe a hint with the purple. We might do like the purple as a liner or something. But yeah, I just wanted to do something kind of like that. So anyway, so um, let's go into the uh, Auckland. I'm going to do the same brush and we're going to go into Auckland. Stretch her sheet a little bit more of a pink pink and we're going to go right over that. And have you guys noticed that I'm in a new apartment? We have a new backdrop. You have to let me know down below what you guys think of it. Um, I'm trying to get used to the lighting. It's a different room. It's a different side of the building. We, we moved up to the fourth floor. I was on the second floor before. It was a little bit darker. Um, so, yeah. So, me and my roommate are getting adjusted to it. But we really love it. It's really, it's a super cute little apartment. Um, it's really nice. It's a little bit more spacious in ways, and it's a, and we lost some space in a way. So it's kind of interesting how it's kind of worked out, but we really do enjoy it so far. So I do have a little bit more room in my room. So I was able to get more of a longer desk. If you guys can see, I will put a picture up here so you can guys see the whole thing. Um, but I have like everything displayed down in different little areas down here with different little color stories and stuff. Ah, sorry, my, my chair, one of my legs broke off of my chair. So it's a little tipsy on one side. So I needed a chair. Um, but anyway, but yeah, it's, it's super, it's super pretty. I really do love it. Um, it's, I just wanted to do something a little bit more, you know, kind of not like what everybody else is doing. I didn't want the same Vogue and the same Tom Ford book and the same boring set of white flowers or whatever. Cause you know, I, you guys, I love my colorful backdrops. I love my plants. I love things like that. But, um, but yeah, I wanted it to be, I wanted it to have a little something. I wanted it to still be a little simple, but I still wanted to have a little powwow with it. So yeah. Um, but anyway, but this is going on great. I love Nomad shadows. I'm a little bit biased when it comes to their shadows, just like I am with Natasha Denona. So I, I just have to say right away, I'm a little bit biased when it comes to them, but because um, I do love their product so much and it's going on really beautiful, just like a dream. And it's going on just the way I wanted it to. And I'm building that up just a tad bit more. But I think that's where we're gonna stop at. I think that's gonna be it for that part. Um, so yeah, I think I really enjoyed like that. So how are you guys doing? How is your 2024 going? How's everything happening with you? Have you, have you guys been on a, a no buy? I have been not a complete no buy. I just finally started maybe getting a few things here and there because money has been really tight, especially with, you know, moving and everything. So it's been a little tight. Um, but I'm going to tell you, it's like, you know, I've been a little bit here and there, but I just really, there's not been a ton of stuff that's really interested me. We're going to do a will I buy it or a pass or yes soon. And um, we're going to go over that uh, probably like in the next video or the next video or so. And I mean, there's a ton of stuff to go over, but yeah, I mean, you know, I've got some really fun stuff here that I've got to play with, but, um, but yeah, not been a ton of buying or whatever. And I actually was able to get some testers of some things. So, and I got samples of stuff. Stuff. So, I mean, you know, it's like, so I would really, just to try to help me save with not spending so much money. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, it's, it's been kind of an interesting, it's been a little, uh, I mean, it's been, uh, to not get into too much detail, it's just been uh, with the move and then with the holidays. Um, I have to be honest with you guys, I was really burnt out, really, really burnt out. You know, when you're in retail all day long, and you sell this stuff all day long. And, you know, then you're dealing with Sephora, you're dealing with Ulta, you're dealing with, you know, um, I'm Neiman, and then I'm dealing with, then, you know, then I work part-time for Chanel, and then I work full-time for Longcom. And then it's just like, you know, and Dillard's, and then the Christmas, and then the wrapping, and then the, the you know, and it's the selling, and it's just on and on and on, and there's just no break. And then, you know, then with the move, and then the stress and everything, I just needed a little bit, I would just burn out all the way around. So I did a little bit of a break from YouTube. Um, so I'm kind of glad that I took it, because I feel a little bit better about it now. Now that I'm settled, I'm in a new place. I feel much, much better about it. Um, I just got a lot to catch up on, but I promised myself this year not to go bananas. Um, you know, if we get one video out a week, we get one video out a week. I mean, you know, maybe one week you may not get a video because I might be working too much. But um, you know what? I'm not going to stress about it this year. Last year, I was stressing about it too much, even though last year, um, I actually made more videos last year, but I didn't, but I but ended up taking, because of work and everything, it was kind of hit and miss last year. But it was, it was really, it's really weird. <laughs> 
<laughs> the way video turned out last year. But anyway, we're going to try to do a little bit better this year. But again, there are no guarantees. We're not making any promises. We're not going to tell you anything. You know, all I do is I just appreciate you guys watching. When you do watch, I really do appreciate it. If you watch things all the way through, that really helps me out a lot. I mean, you guys just being supportive, that means a lot too. So with that said, let's keep moving on with the look because I don't want to get too far behind because we've got a lot of stuff to do with this face, okay? Um, but yeah, it looks so far so good. Go into, I think we're going to go into this shade here. This multi-chrome here is called Aurora Australis. And by the way, if I didn't mention, I forgot to mention, if you guys didn't know, Nomad is cruelty-free, it's vegan-free, it's paraben-free, I mean, all that kind of good stuff. So, if you guys are, it's got the little bunny on it, so, I mean, just in case you guys want to, just, you didn't know that. Um, but this is what the eyeshadow looks like, so I'm going to go on and put it right here. I want this to be really pop. And I just went back with my P. Louise and just kind of like, you know, kind of just give it a little bit more of a, you know... A little bit more of that just to, to smooth out the lid a little bit more because I wanted this color to pop a little bit more. It is gorgeous. That is really beautiful. I don't know if you guys can see the shift on that, but look how pretty that is. It's so, so pretty. pretty. I've got to still use my Michaela palette too. I've still got a look for you guys to do um, with the blue side of her palette that we never got to do. I want to play with that probably won't do a full-on video with that. I'll probably just do something just so you guys can see what it looks like. But, uh, but yeah, you guys get ready because it looks like blue is going to be a big thing for spring. So, it looks like blues are going to be in um, if you guys are not into blue. <laughs> but it looks like, like, you know, like light blues, you know, certain kind of blues. They're coming back in style. So, evidently, it's going to be more, I think it's going to be a trend, at least for the spring and the summer. It may not be for the whole year, but it's going to definitely be, you know, as long as, uh, and, it's, as, and a, the color peach, that's going to be as well. But look how pretty that is. That is so pretty. Wow. I love that. And we're going to, of course, do lashes, of course. Um, but then now, before we do the inner corner, I think we're going to go back. I want to do this purple here, and I think I want to do it, we're going to do it as a liner. So, we're going to do it like almost like a, like a liquid liner. I'm gonna take a Sigma brush. We're gonna take this kind of a brush. This is a E68. It's kind of like you can use it like a brow brush, but I'm gonna use it like a liner brush. And I'm actually going to, I'm gonna actually wet my brush just a little bit, which is water. We're just gonna take a little water and just take it in. And this is a matte shade. So it's gonna be more of a matte. And I'm gonna pull out Miss Piggy here. I'm gonna pull out her a little bit. And I just wanna put just a little bit behind it. Oh, that's pretty. That's a pretty purple. It's really pretty. Okay, so now is a new another new product that I got. This is from She Glam and part of the Care Bears collection. Um, I picked up a few things off of She Glam because it's first of all it's really inexpensive. I think this was like maybe three or four dollars, and I'm gonna show you guys some blushes and stuff in a little bit. And they're only everything is only like five dollars. Um, but this is a liquid liner, and it is a white liquid liner. But look how cute! It's like a little fuzzy, little fuzzy pen, just like that, and it's got the Care Bears on it. And it came in this cute little Care Bear box, so you guys can see it, just like that. The name of the shade is called True Heart. And it's just so cute. The packaging is so adorable. She Glam, I'm really impressed with. Their packaging and the way that they ship stuff, I'm telling you guys, I've never seen shipment like theirs. The way that they pack the blushes and everything in these individual styrofoam cases, and they fit them exactly down in the styrofoam cases. And even more than like Chanel and Dior, I was really impressed with the way that they ship stuff. It was really impressive. But I'm gonna take a little bit of this and we're gonna go right over top of the purple. And just kind of take it across the top here. Just to give a little bit, again, of a lift. Love it. I'm loving this look so far. It's giving me like that really clean aesthetic. And we might even do a little bit of this underneath. We'll have to see in just a little bit. 
But, um, so let me put the cap back on this. We're going to do with the cap. Oh, here's the cap. <laughs> let me take this. I'm going to set this to the side. And let me go off. I'm going to put some lashes on. And we'll be right back. And then we will um, play with a little bit more. Um, so what I did was I just took a little bit of this color here. I took the, it's called the Malignant Clouds. And I packed a little bit more over top of the uh, Aura. I packed a little bit more of that. And then, of course, we did the, the, the purple liner. I put on my lashes. I did a little bit of my, uh, where's my box? The Rissa Does Makeup with BK Beauty. I love these lashes. They're one of my favorite lashes from last year, those in Kiss, um, which will be in my best of 2024, which will be coming to you guys soon. I have a whole list. I'm telling you, I've got notes. I had to make notes for everything, guys, because I just, because I never, I never do notes. I never do a script. I just had to do a script for these videos because I had so much that I wanted to go over with you guys. But, um, Anyway, I digress. Talking about, and then this pen here, the, the Care Bear pencil, I did a little bit up underneath my waterline, and right here, love this pencil. And for four bucks, it's really good. And it's especially if you want a really pretty white one. And they had this one in different colors, too. Um, so it was really pretty. Put a little bit of the mascara on the bottom lashes. I'm really liking the mascara. The mascara's not smearing or smudging or anything, but this palette is just, it's, I'm, I'm really proud with this palette. If you guys are wondering what is on my lips, this is the Chanel, this is a Glossomer, I believe. It's Rouge Cocoa Gloss and 106. I think the name of the shade is called, um, it's called Amarino, Amarino. Anyway, it just kind of, I really am just really enjoying this color. It's super, super beautiful. It looks really good on my uh, lips. Um, so yeah, I've, I've been really using this one a lot. It's been great, but I'm just keeping my lips hydrated. This is not the lipstick we're going to go with at the end, but, um, because it's going to be a little bit more richer. It's going to be another Chanel color, uh, so stay tuned. But yeah, it looks really pretty. So we are going to talk about some Chanel. So I did get, um, I was able to get some testers of the LeBeige. This is the LeBeige, the winter LeBeige collection in Chanel. The frosty white, the light copper, and the icy beige. And then I also got the um, Wab Glossé. I got a, a tester of one of these. Uh, we sold out of them, so I was fortunate that the store let me have some testers. So um, I'll be using this in another video. I'm not going to use it as blush today, um, but I will definitely, we're going to play with it a little bit later in a future video. But I do love this blush. It's gorgeous. But we are going to use these today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of each one. So we're going to take a little bit of Icy. Uh, this is Icy Beige. That's what she looks like. And this is like copper. I'm going to put her on the other finger like that. And um, and this is Frosty White. Now, I will let you guys know these are sold out. It's sold out on the site. It's sold out in all the stores. So it's not available so I'm sorry. The blushes are still available. A lot of the stores still have a lot of the blushes, and I think they're still on Chanel.com. So you can definitely go over there and check that out if you want them. But this is what they all three look like. It's a very beautiful, um, watery consistency, but I like mixing them all three together. So this is what they look like all together. And I'm gonna put a little bit all over. It smelled wonderful. It had that beautiful Chanel smell, which I love the Chanel smell we're going to be using a new foundation today. I can't wait. I've played with it before. So I've been playing with this foundation and these, and by the way, they work really beautiful underneath makeup. So they're really pretty under makeup. But since you can't get them anymore, I um, mean, you know, but if you can find them, if you happen to run into a store and you happen to see them, I would grab them because they're, again, they're no longer around. Um, but anyway, with that said, uh, so I've been playing with this Maybelline Superstay makeup. This is the 24 hour skin tint. I will be using this again in another video, but I have been playing with it. It is a really good product. I saw it on, um, you know, on social media, and um, everybody's been ranting and raving about it, and I thought I would try it out to see what they were talking about. I think it was like $14 or $13, maybe even $12. Um, sorry, my eye. Um, but it's such a good product. It's a really beautiful product, but that's not what we're going to try today. Today, we're going to be trying the new Laura Mercier. It's called the Real Flawless Weightless perfecting foundation and I have it in the shade 4CO. Now, of course, you know me, I did not get the bottle. I got the, I got samples. Um, so I have it and I have also the brand new Laura Mercier Real Flawless Concealer, which just came out as well. And I have it in the shade 2C2. Um, they're both in samples. I don't have the bottle, but it did go viral. Um, it's only, the foundation's been out um, for over a year, I think. Um, but the concealer just came out. So the concealer's brand new, the foundation's not. Um, but anyway, I have tried this foundation a couple times. 
absolutely really, really like it, guys. It's a really beautiful foundation. It's a little different, um, but I want to, um, let's see, I'm going to show you guys a little bit with a brush. And um, I usually like to do it with a sponge, but we're going to do it with a brush, too, because I want you guys to see both. Um, and, you know, in some of the videos, they use a paddle brush. And I have a paddle brush in my makeup brushes that I use at work, but I don't have one professionally because personally, I don't like them. They're not my favorite kind of a brush to use on myself, but I do know there are some people that do really do love them. But I will use another foundation brush. We use, um, let's say, you know, let me use my BK Beauty one. We'll use it. We'll use my BK Beauty brush. This is the, uh, the 101 brush. We'll use it. I'm going to take a little bit of the foundation like if we were pumping it on the back of our hand. And this is kind of what the shade 4CO2 looks like. And I'm going to take a little bit and we're going to kind of go on the skin and lightly start putting it on. I am not going to put it on as thick as they do in the videos because they put it on pretty heavy in the videos, but it is a really lightweight, water-based type foundation. It has almost like a little bit of a serum texture to it. It's really pretty. It does give a really pretty, it's not dewy. So, I mean, don't get, it's, it's more of a natural. Um, Laura Murphy has a dewy one, um, but this one is not as dewy. It looked kind of radiant, but remember we put on, I mean, I put on the good, the, the Essence Primer and I have done Chanel on, so trust me, I do a lot to make my skin look dewy underneath it. Um, Cause it's all about prep before you put on something. It's all, can, but you definitely, um, even an oilier skin could wear this product probably cause it does stay on pretty decent. I don't know about the transfer resistant because I, it says that it is, but it, to me, it still does a little bit of transfer. Um, but it is a really pretty foundation. I'm going to take a little bit of my sponge and I'm just going to go over it and just let you guys see what it looks like. And it's, see, it's already kind of started drying down already. Um, but look how pretty it is. How beautiful it is. It's got a really beautiful finish to it. So if you have been curious about trying it, I would get a sample. The colors are a little, to me, they're a little wonky. It took me a hot minute to find one that I really liked. The same thing with the concealer. The concealers were a little wonky too with colors. I would definitely get a sample or go in and, and play with them yourself to see if you want to, you know, um, but I would try a sample first. I mean, why not? I mean, you know, they're free usually at Sephora. You might possibly can get one at Ulta. Um, you know, the same thing with like Nordstrom's and some of those that carry Little Mercy A. You can definitely get a sample of it. But it is a really beautiful. I love the color. The color is really beautiful too. And while we're doing it, I'm just going to go ahead and go on the other side with my brush as well. I'm going to just go ahead and finish this out. Look how beautiful it is. See how beautiful it is. And again, I made myself really glowy because typically when it dries down, it's not as glowy, but um, but it looks really beautiful, especially in the camera and the lights and everything. It does look really glowy, so it does look really pretty. But it just looks really nice. So this is without powder, so we haven't even powdered yet. And by the way, this brow pencil, so far it's holding up real good. It's not smeared as I moved. It's done really good to the waterproof. So far, it might be right. We may be waterproof. Um, but yeah, I'm really liking it. So now let's try the concealer. And again, I have this in the shade um, uh, 2C2 is the color that I have it in. So this is what it looks like. So the concealer is a little bit of, a, again, it's that, you know, I, it was really hard for me to find. I felt like it was either too light. It was just too dark. I couldn't really find one really good in between. I would really probably have to mix concealers, to be honest with you. But uh, just to get a sample, I got the 2C2. So, I mean, that's the one that I've been trying out. Um, I, again, just like the um, just like the foundation, I've tried it a few days. Um, the foundation lasted most of the day, um, and so did the concealer. Um, the concealer, I, the foundation, I really like. The concealer, I'm still playing with some. Um, I'm not really sure my full thoughts on it yet. Um, hold on a minute. Let me see if I find a brush. I use my BK Beauty Angie brush. If you guys don't know, you know. If you know, you know, because it's my favorite brush. But I'm going to take a little bit in, and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. So, it goes on kind of like a serum, and it really just smooths out. It does smooth out underneath. However... I felt like it did get a little, you have to be careful with it. It will look a little dry if you're not careful, I think. That's just me personally. Um, 
and even with like powder, but it does brighten and it does kind of blur um, and it does look kind of, it has that really filtered kind of effect to it, but it does look really pretty. Um, so I'm not gonna say that I don't like it, but I'm gonna try another new product in a minute over on the other eye and I just want you guys to see. So this is what the concealer looks like by itself. So see how pretty it does give like a literally really lifted kind of look to the um, eye area. I'm gonna take just a little bit up here. Take just a little bit more, just to kind of brighten the area there a little bit, down the nose a little bit. But see how pretty that is. I mean, it's a really beautiful. It is a really pretty concealer. Um, but now I want to show you guys another one. So there's two concealer. There's a couple concealers. So this is the NYX Stick, uh, Thick Stick Pro. They, these are five dollars. So they're five dollars. I got this from NYX. I actually got a discount with it because um, I went on their site to get it. I didn't get it from Ulta. I actually got it on their site. So they're five dollars. I got the pink one and I got the. Um, this is the shade. What shade is a soft beige seven? Um, and this is O2 pink. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of the pink on this side and just kind of brighten this area even more so. And I'm gonna take it with my finger because these are very blendable. These are really good concealers too, guys. So they're very creamy. They're you, a little bit of it. You can see a little bit of that went a long way. That'll just really brighten down my eye. They're really beautiful. They're really pretty. Um, I'm not gonna use the beige one over top of it because I'm gonna use the Laura because I wanna kind of keep it. But I just wanted you guys to see what it looks like on its own and what the Laura look like on its own before I put this over it. But they do work well together. Um, it does, the corrector does look good with another product over top of it. Um, but see how it just gives like a beautiful coverage. And personally, I think I like it better with the corrector than without the corrector. But now you guys will have to let me know down below what you think. Um, but but I, that's what I personally think. I mean, in looking up close, I really do like it without, the, I mean, with the corrector. I just think it looks prettier. Um, but I really do like the NYX2, and they last all day. They do a really good job of coverage and everything. But yeah, it looks really nice. They both look really nice. Um, I mean, especially in looking up close, they both do a really good job together. It looks really pretty. The Laura, you just gotta be careful. I mean, to me, she gets some coverage now. It does get some coverage. Um, so you gotta be careful because you can get a little bit too much. But I do really like that. That looks really pretty. It looks very clean. It's really not, I like the way it with the eyes today. I think it makes it look very lifted. It makes it look really nice. So what do you guys think down below? You have to let me know. Where I, before I move over to, before we go on to um, contour, I wanna show you these, that's the soft pink. See how bright she is. And then this one is the, um, this one is the number seven. So that is the color. But see how pretty it is compared to the Laura. Hold on a minute, let me go back and open it back up because I closed my, I closed it up. You can see I've really, I've almost used what little bit I could get. It was very hard to get a concealer as a sample. But, um, but see the difference? It looks a little, the, the, the thickness, the creaminess looks a little different. I will say just be careful with the cream. You can get a little bit too much with it. So you just have to be a little careful with it. But, um, you know, just put it on lightly. You don't even have to put it on very heavy. You can even dabble with your finger and pat it on a little bit. But a little bit of it goes a long way. And we will probably set it a little bit in a little while, but with the powder. But right now, I'm just going to leave it. But it look, it is, it does, this look really pretty, I have to say. So next up, we're going to do another product from She Glam. And this is all over TikTok and Instagram. And this is the, um, it's the Sun, it's Tawny Amber. It's the Sun Sculpt Liquid Contour. Um, and I've got it in the shade Tawny Amber, and this is what the packaging looks like, and it has like the little, the, on the top of it, and it's supposed to be a sun-kissed perfection, sun sculpt liquid contour, highly super blendable, long-wearing formula, and did you just get back from vacation? So it's really cute. Again, only $5, only $5. Um, so you shake it, it's got a little, 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 little ball in it. This is a little applicator just like this. So what I'm gonna do is I've already done a little bit below my jawline. I'm gonna take a little bit just right here and a little bit here, just so you guys can see. It's a very, I've got, uh, there. Um, some of them are cool tone, some of them are a little warm tone. That so just depends on however 
you wish whatever kind of color you want. I think there's like maybe eight colors in it, eight or nine. There's quite a few, but you see it definitely gives a contour or you can see like more of the shadow. You can definitely see more of the shadow. I'm gonna go back over with my sponge. I'm gonna go over it there. Cause we have a few blushes to play with. <laughs> um, but see how pretty that is? It's just so pretty. It does, it gives a really it does last all day. Um, it looks very natural. I'm really shocked with this company for it being five dollars or whatever. Now you have to go online to get it. Um, and you know, and of course, I don't have any affiliate links with them. I don't have any codes or anything like that for you guys, but um, I will put it still down below if you guys want to check it out. But look how beautiful it is! It's really soft. I'll put a little bit more here. On my jaws, you can see how cool it is. And then you just lightly just blend it and it just blends right into the skin. You don't need a lot of it. And just blend it in and it just does a really good job. And they have really, again, the color selection is pretty good. So it's so pretty, it just gives you like a little bit of a lift. It just looks really nice. And I really, I really like, I've really been enjoying this product. Now we are going to go on to the next thing. And before I do any powder, I wanted to do, I have another balmy product that's a blush balm. So Cream Shop just came out with these brand new, um, it's these Hello Kitty um, cream blush balms with aloe vera in them. It's a fresh wash of color for rosy, healthy cheeks. And I got it in the shade Very Cute. Um, they are $15. Um, you can only get it on the Cream Shop website right now at the moment. It's still not at Ulta or any other retailer that I could see, but I'm sure that they will eventually, but right now they're not. But this is what it looks like. It's just a little Hello Kitty compact and it's adorable. And in the inside, it is a balmy kind of a texture. So in the inside, it's very like creamy-like um, and it goes on really smooth, but it just kind of dries out. It's got a little bit of a glow in it. You can see a little bit of glow. But it's got like a really pretty like berry hue to it. There's a coral shade and then there's a really pink shade. And um, I thought we would play with it a little bit today. So I'm going to tap a little bit in and just tap a little bit up in here. So I haven't, the first time that I tried this one, so this one's new. Um, I just got it in the mail yesterday. So it is really, ooh, that's pretty. That's a really pretty, pretty blush really pretty balmy blush. We're going to do another blush, a powder blush over it in a little bit. So I don't want to do a ton of it, but that's really nice. I like that. It's just going in the skin really good. It looks very natural. It's dry down. Is a, you know, it's not too like balmy or too wet. Not like the Huda Beauty, which has a little bit more tack to it, but it's really pretty. It's very natural though. It's a very natural kind of look. Um, you could probably do this too with your fingers if you wanted. You could also do that too. You can also build it up. It looks like you can build it just a tad bit more. But yeah, that's really beautiful. That's pretty. That is really pretty. I have to say, that's really lovely. I set my face with powder. I did a little bit of my one size um, ultra pink powder. I set my face with fat. We did a little bit of my Hollywood Honey by Charlotte Tilbury Lip Liner. So we have that on for the Chanel lipstick. And um, yeah, it just, I took back a little bit of um, this metallic cloud here. I put a little bit of it in the inner corner and it is stunning. It's really beautiful. And then I swept a little bit more of that pink. This one, I'm sorry, this one up underneath a little bit more, just to give a little bit more, but look how beautiful that is. This eye look is gorgeous. It's so pretty. Um, I'm really, really loving this palette. It's really gorgeous. I can't wait to play with some more of the other colors, but this is really beautiful so far. Um, so but now let's do the Chanel lipstick. So this is the Chanel lipstick. It's just in the Rouge Cocoa Bloom. Um, and this is in the shade Surprise. Surprise, surprise! <sighs> that that is the color. So she's like a really rich berry red color. So I thought this would look so beautiful together. Um, that is gorgeous. That is even more stunning than it is hand swatched. It's so beautiful. And that Hollywood Honey really brought out the color, which is what I thought it would. 
absolutely love that. That is really beautiful. I love that. If I wanted like a really dramatic lip with this cut look, I mean, not that it's not already dramatic already, but you know me, you know how we play here, but, um, but it's a Chanel color. It just looks gorgeous. Now that we've got the Chanel color on, let's go into a little bit more blushes. So I have, this is the Care Bear Collection, again, from She Glam. These blushes are $5, and um, they came packaged so super cute. So this is the box that they come in. So this is the color, um, this is the color uh, Fabulous, which is the pink. I'm sorry, I got like stuff everywhere. And then this is the Tickle Pink. Um, and so one is a little bit more of a brighter pink and one is a little bit more of a, like a softer pink. Um, so this is what the little, they're little fuzzies, like they're little fuzzies. And then you open them up and it has the Care Bear in it. Now I've used this one a little bit more, but you can see it's got a little beautiful, it's beautiful. It's just a beautiful pigment. It just goes on so good. Guys, I'm finding these blushes that are really inexpensive. And I'm going to go dare on a limb and say that they're even better than blushes that you can buy in the department stores or at Sephora or any of those. I mean, they're just absolutely stunning. And then this one is um, similar. They're just so cute because they're just, I just love the packaging. Again, with the Care Bear in the inside of it. And um, and this one is the shade Fabulous. It's how beautiful. It's just a really pretty bright pink. Again, only $5. Only $5 for these. So, I mean, and the price... You just can't go wrong with them. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go in with my, this is my favorite one, it's the Tickle Paint. And um, I'm gonna take a little bit of a, um, let me take my refer brush, this is number 05. And I'm just gonna tap a little bit of her inner cause she's very pigmented. And we're just gonna go up and add a little bit more of it. It's so beautiful that is, and how pretty it builds. It just builds so beautifully. And you know that we love blush. So, and I might take a little bit of Tickle Paint or the fabulous over top of the cheap right there, but look how pretty that is. This is just a, such a beautiful look. So you don't have a lot of shimmer or anything like that to them or any kind of a, like a really, um, got more of a glow to them, kind of like what the Chanel has. The Chanel, these blushes have more of a glow, so they have more of a glow to them. So if you don't like, if you like more of a matte blush, these would be more for you. But let me take a little bit of this one on the other side a little bit of this really soft pink and I'm gonna place her right here on the apple because guess what we can even if that's not where we're supposed to put her we're just gonna put her anyway because we won't do okay but look how pretty that is that is just gorgeous it's so pretty I love it so this is gonna blend this in a little bit and then we're gonna add a little highlight from the um Demi cosmetic palette we're gonna take a little bit of that over top of it, just make sure we've got our blended in a little bit more. I'm gonna take a little bit one of these. I'm gonna take the uh, this light pink one that we did on our lid. Um, let me take a brush. Let's just take a. I'm gonna take just a little bit of a number sixteen brush, and I'm gonna tap just a little bit there in the and just right here on the and just really beautiful. It's a beautiful, set pretty highlight. Take a little bit more right here. It down, kind of want it to blend it in, and I actually want to take just a tad above my brow bone, just a little bit more right there. But look how beautiful that is! It's a beautiful highlighter, too. Wow, any of these would be pretty highlighters, they have some really beautiful colors in here. That gold on a darker skin tone would look really beautiful as a highlighter. A couple of these would be really beautiful as highlight. Okay, guys, last but not least, I'm going to use a little bit of the Ariana Grande. This is the Rim Beauty, and this shade is the shade called Chucky, um, and it is just a galactic delight. It's so pretty. It's got a little bit of a minty feel to it, but that is the color right there. So, I just take a little bit and I have a little bit right here in the center, and it just gives like a little, it has a little mintiness to it, but just gives a little bit more coolness to the center. So it doesn't make it look as um, that more darker berry. It just makes it look a little, gives it look a little hint of pink to it, which I really like. And it kind of, the metallic sheen flips off of here and here all together. It's like a beautiful multi-chrome metallic delight. So I love the way it does it. And it actually has a little bit of a, almost like a minty chocolate feel to it. These are really nice. They're really pretty. I'd like to see what it would look like with just this and a lip liner. It would be really beautiful because it does have that beautiful galactic shine to it. So, 
So yeah, guys, so let me put, let me get straightened up here a minute. Okay, so what do you guys overall think? What do you think of this overall look? Um, I gotta say, I'm really, um, really, really impressed with the, um, with the whole look. I think it looks really beautiful. The brow has really held up well. So this brow here is really, it's really impressed on me. So this is really good. So far so good. I'm, this, who knows, this may actually take the place of my Charlotte Tilbury, which I absolutely love. So I don't know, we're gonna have to see. Let me sit up just a little more. Um, but I absolutely can't wait to um, play with this more and I absolutely love this mascara. So the mascara is doing really well too. Really like, even though we have on like fake lashes, I have to say the mascara is really good. It's held up really well during this look. Um, the, um, the Nomad palette, you guys, don't, I don't have to say another word about it. It looks absolutely gorgeous. It's stunning. I can't wait to play with these blues in here and some more of the purples. But they're just, this is the beautiful palette. This is probably one of the most beautiful palettes that they've done so far that I've really enjoyed. I really love the, um, the Romeo and Juliet one that they did last year. It's not, that's not what it's called, but it, the Verona, the Verona palette, that's what it was. I really enjoyed that one. But this one, I really do love it. it just look, it's just, it's just gorgeous. It's stunning. Um, these blushes, the Hello Kitty is really cute. It's a little sheer. It's more on the sheer side. Um, and especially if you're a little darker, I don't think these are going to show up on you because I'm a medium skin tone and it barely showed up on me. So if you're darker skin tone, this is the darkest color. I don't think you would probably like these. But if you like a little bit of balm on your cheeks, you may actually like this. Or if you like foundation free, you may like this. These are just, these are, I can't say enough about this brand. This Chic Lamb, I'm telling you, this, 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 I mean, you know, and the, um, the, the white eyeliner. Really impressed with all of these products. I really do like them. These may become some of my favorite blushes. I'm telling you, because I've been really using them a lot and I really do like it. And this I've really enjoyed too. Um, so yeah, so we're really liking the Chic Glamour for five bucks. I mean, you can't go wrong with that. Um, you know, of course, uh, the Chanel lipstick, I mean, you know, the it and the, the gloss, I mean, you know, these just, Chanel is becoming very fast and furious. Some of my favorite lip products, although they're very expensive, but they're just so beautiful. And with this REM lip gloss over top of it, it just looks really beautiful. Um, the Laura Mercier foundation looks absolutely gorgeous. I love the way that it looks. I mean, you know, of course, we've made it look a little bit more dewy with the highlight and everything, but it looks really pretty. The concealer I'm still playing with, um, I do like it. Um, I'm just still not really 100% sure about it. But now these NYX, these NYX concealer sticks, the fix sticks, these are great. And they're also great for fixing up little things, you know, when you need a little extra fixing up. These are great. Um, yeah, and then, you know, and then, of course, the LeBage, these... Unfortunately, you guys can't get it, but and because it's sold out everywhere. But if you can find them, I mean, look around and see if you can find it. If you're in a store, ask the Chanel. Maybe they might have some of these available. But they're just, they were really, really good. Um, we'll play with the blush again another day as well as we will with the Maybelline. I'll show you guys what this looks like on the skin too because this is absolutely really beautiful. But we'll do another video with it soon. Or I'll, I'll show it in a video where you guys can see what it looks like on my skin. Um, but with that said, guys, that is it. Um, I think we covered almost everything. Um, you know, if you like this video, make sure you subscribe and make sure you click that thumbs up button because it really does help a lot. Um, you know, and thank you so much for being here because without you, I wouldn't be here. Um, so with that said, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great rest of your day. Remember, be safe, be strong, be proud, stand tall, love yourself. Remember, tell somebody that you love them today because life is way too short. And also remember, be kind to somebody because kindness can go off a long way. And you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and we will see you again in the next Pastor Yes video, which is coming up soon. So anyway, Thank you for that. Take care and I'll see you later. Bye.